Conspiracy theorists have long alleged that manufacturers foster scarcity by building into their products mechanisms of programmed obsolescence and apoptosis, self-destruction. But scarcity is artificially manufactured in less obvious and far less criminal ways. Technological advances, product revisions, new features and novel additions render successive generations of products obsolete. Consumerism encourages owners to rid themselves of their possessions and replace them with newer, more gleaming, status-enhancing substitutes offered by design departments and engineering workshops worldwide. Cherished values of narcissistic competitiveness and malignant individualism play an important socio-cultural role in this sempiternal game of musical chairs. Many products have a limited shelf life or an expiry date rarely supported by solid and rigorous research. They are to be promptly disposed of and presumably instantaneously replaced with new ones. Finally, manufacturers often knowingly produce scarcity by limiting their output or by restricting access to their goods. Limited editions of works, of art for instance, or books, are prime examples of this stratagem. But there are other examples, especially in technology products, where the production run is limited in order to create a kind of panic, consumerist panic, and scarcity.